You know what, you all just need to go and get yourself a cup of coffee for this story time. But ogre punch and he went across the shop. Of course the ogre flies out everywhere. Welcome back, say good morning to the vlog. Today is Thursday but we thought we would do a little mummy and baby vlog today because we have so much going on. It's a bit of a busy busy day so we thought we'd bring you along with us. Well, we are just currently waiting on the window cleaners. Oh, you want down? And Milano had his injections yesterday but as you can see he's coping pretty well. We've been given him medicine so he's all good but he was all excited yesterday whenever I got him dressed up for going to the doctors because I think he thought we were going out. So I was like, okay, tomorrow I will take you out if you're not too feverish. And he's not, so we're gonna go to the shopping center and see about getting Oh so baby M 2.0 some Winnie the Pooh stuff because Primark released a whole Winnie the Pooh collection. So we're gonna go see if we can get baby brother that and then whenever we come back. Milano's new Chester George is arriving. So we've got a busy, busy day and we just thought we'd bring you along with us. Hope you enjoy. So guys, we are all ready to go. We have the cleanest windows, don't we Milano? Amazing. So Milano just wanted to show you his little outfit of the day. We have, yeah, curly hair, a little ombre tee. Can you see it? Lovely. Oh, oh. Stripey shorts. <laughs> And fabulous Mickey Mouse shoes. Mr. Cutie Pie. Doesn't he look amazing? Cute. Let's go. Let's go shopping. You love going shopping, don't you? Let's go. From the shopping trip and if I look like a sweaty mess it's because I am like that is why no joke if the shopping trip could have went any worse like no the shopping trip could not have gone any worse like if you could think of like what could go wrong went wrong okay like I'm just going to fill you in on our disastrous trip because like I'm, I'm actually like it's it's funny now like it was so bad it is now funny okay so started off got Milano out of the car put him in the pram was not amused about being in the pram he hates that pram like he honestly hates it we are getting a new pram whenever we have baby M 2.0 um, and I'm hoping that he's going to like it a bit better and he's going to be a bit older so he might be a bit happier about being in it. But anyway, hits the pram so it was moaning. We got to Primark, he hates Primark but I was like we're just going to go there first and get the worst out of the way. Went in, he started moaning but then he like randomly fell asleep and he doesn't just fall asleep like that's just not what he does. So he randomly fell asleep for like if even seven minutes right. The, and I was like quickly running around Primark and was like get what I need to get which I got and I'll show you all that stuff in a second after story time okay do you know what you all just need to go and get yourself a cup of coffee for this story time because it is long and it is hilarious right so we were in Primark and he'd done his sleep and then he decided okay now I'm gonna wake up but I'm gonna wake up in a bad mood because I wasn't meant to go to sleep so he woke up literally screaming 
like I mean at the top of his lungs and I was like right okay and we were in the queue and I was like I'm not getting out of the queue like and I'm getting all this stuff like it's fine he's not gonna die from a bit of a scream so I got out his yogurt pouch and was like right have this Milano and you'll be okay like normally whenever I give him that that like settles him for a wee while he got the yogurt pouch and he went across the shop of course the yogurt flies out everywhere so then I was like right need to clean up the yogurt he's still screaming everyone's looking at me he's cleaning up the yogurt had baby wipes everywhere screaming baby the yogurt pouch then obviously had to get that had to give it a wipe then once I'd done that I was like right okay now I'm gonna get him out of the the pram got him out of the pram put the stuff that was that I was buying into the pram the next minute I was next in the queue. Up I went. Milano was still screaming. And then this woman was like, is that Jake's son? And then she wanted to have a nosy at Milano, bearing in mind, still screaming. So anyway, we eventually paid and we eventually got out of there and I was like, right, put my bag in the pram, carrying Milano, very hot, very pregnant very just like is this real life so then I was like right we'll go to the shade and I'll try putting him back in the pram done that he went in the pram then I was like right we need to go get my friend a present so off we went to that shop to get that of course exact same thing happened that happened in Primark absolutely kicked off the woman behind the till was really, really good and she was like, oh God, like, you know, are you having a bad day with them type thing? And I was like, oh, it's just one of them days. But there was a woman there that was buying things for her grandson and like the clothes were big, I'm guessing, like eight to 10 kind of age. And she was looking and she was like, like looking at Milano screaming. And I was like, there's not really a lot I can do because like I need my two hands to pay right now. Once I pay, I'll take them out of the pram. So that is exactly what I'd done. And then he was like, <laughs> like, cause he was just in a terrible mood. Then we went out, went over to the shade, calmed him down, popped him back into the pram because I had to go and get him shampoo cause he's run out of shampoo. Like I had to go and get it. Like it is what it is. Even if I ordered it on Amazon Prime, it's not gonna be here today. So I had to go and get it. So off I went and then I got some toothpaste and things like that and we were in there and of course same thing happened he was screaming and this woman like stood like right in front of me like staring and I was so close to being like have you never seen a baby that cries before like I am trying my best <laughs> but I didn't I held back and then I got my stuff again got him out of the pram once I paid calmed him down and then he was like just still in a bad mood tried giving him his yogurt didn't want it and I was like right okay well we'll go to Starbucks and we'll get a drink because he loves the pink the new pink drink that's in Starbucks and I was like this will make his absolute day like we don't get it for him all the time obviously like it's full of sugar but I was like today is an exception like he can have this so off I went no pink drink and then I was like, okay, can we have the mango? And at this stage, the order's taken too long. So Milano <laughs> kicked off again. So he was already out the pram and he was on my hip, but he was like buckling. He was like, you know, like so angry. I put him on the floor, but then he just wanted to run around Starbucks. So I picked him back up and I was like, man, so can we have mango? No, we don't have any mango. And I was like, all right, okay. So what do you have? And he just was like, I was like, what other flavours do you have? And he was like, not mango. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know you don't have mango, but what else have you got? And he just looked at me and he went, we have lemon. I was like, that's fine. You know, just give me whatever you have. Like he's screaming. <laughs> so then we got our drinks. And then I got him a blueberry muffin. Like can't go wrong with a blueberry muffin. Can this day didn't want it, didn't like it, didn't want iPad, didn't want it, like literally did not want anything. He did drink um, the drink, uh, moaning about it though. But I was like, you are loving this. Like, why are you moaning? Like, 
I know you love this and he was just like Meh, the whole time it was just getting like too much and I was like why am I even trying let's just go so I packed up our drinks I ate my muffin and I left a good bit of the blueberry muffin because I was like I've not had to wrap it up in like this is just too much I had bags I had everything and I was like we need to go popped him into the pram popped all the bags put his drink into his cup so then I could put it into his bag had my drink in my hand right now this is where you think what else could possibly go wrong <laughs> then we were walking back to the car and we had to go down the ramp because obviously the car was parked underneath and it's like an escalator ramp so at the minute I stepped on the escalator that was fine please bear in mind all the bags and Milano in the pram holding on to Starbucks baby bag like everything had it all stepped on the escalator and I started to slide as in like zero grip like I was just going with the pram with the stuff like if anyone had been watching me they would have been like what's gonna happen when she gets to the bottom and I was going down this escalator like <laughs> like I was like right if I try I'm gonna end up on my ass I'm not gonna be able to hold on to the pram so my method was just hold on to the pram as tight as you can and then if we get to the bottom and you have to fall on your bum or fall on your knees that's fine do not let go of the pram like I was going so fast down this escalator I was like if anyone was in front of me it would be like move out of the way or you're literally gonna get crushed because I could not stop like there was no stopping me but we got to the bottom and we just done a bit of it like a Whoa! you know but I didn't end up on the bum and it was fine then I got him into the car and the minute I put him into the car seat he was like happy be mummy so happy and I was like so there's literally nothing wrong with you like not one thing then I brought him home put him in the playroom and if he could speak he would be like happy 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 and he just ran around the playroom laughing giggling blowing bubbles mm -hmm. yep so all that like screaming and tantrum nearly going to my death down an escalator because I thought there was generally something wrong with him. There wasn't. He just didn't want to be out for the day. So yeah, our shopping trip turned into a bit of a disaster. But you know what? It made a really good story, didn't it? And then whenever we got home, the pigeon, I don't know if you know about the pigeon, but there's these pigeons that come to our house all day every day and torment the dogs and they sit on the wall and then they bounce from like different parts of the wall and they fly around the dogs just basically to piss them off so I don't know what happened whether the dogs got one of <laughs> one of them or it fell off the wall or whatever happened but anyway there was five barking chihuahuas around the dog around the pigeon on the floor so we had to address that situation. I'll insert I'll insert a little video now with that. Um, oh, so Papa Murray had to come round to sort out the pigeon. Turns out it was alive. So yeah, it's just been it's just been one of them crazy days. I really do think I need my own personal person to like follow me around with a camera because I can't capture all these moments because they just happen so bloody quickly and it's just like did that happen is this real life this is literally the best day in the life <laughs> that could ever happened and I'm really sorry you couldn't physically see it for yourselves but you're just gonna have to take my word for it so yeah now I'm gonna show you what we bought in the shops a bit more exciting if you didn't like my story that's completely fine but yeah, it was hilarious. So this is what we got in Primark. We got this little Winnie the Pooh cup. Isn't that it says Winnie the Pooh in the inside? I don't know if I'm gonna put it into his room and maybe put like a plant in it, or if I'm just gonna leave it for our kitchen and drink coffee out of it whenever he's born, because no doubt I will definitely need all the coffee. I got him a money bank because we bought Milano a Dumbo one. Um, that's like the same material whenever 
before he was born so I thought that would be cute in his room and then I got him this for his room which is super cute like that's kind of like the style I'm gonna do up his room so I thought yes need I then got him this little throw for probably over the rocking chair I would say um, so yeah I just thought it was nice and it all kind of matched and then I got him this Winnie the Pooh cushion which is really nice Milano has like a, a Dumbo one like this but we actually got his in the Disney shop Primark were selling one um, at the time but the trunk was not very good um, compared to the Disney the Disney shop one and the ears in the Disney shop one were all like nice and floppy whereas the ears in the Primark one were hard but um, I thought this poo there that's better does look like Winnie the Pooh um, so I was happy enough to purchase that and yeah I then got a little nighty because being pregnant I feel like I don't like anything around my waist whenever I sleep so I just thought I would pick up a little Dumbo nighty they did have a Winnie the Pooh one but I wasn't mad about the colour it was like this kind of colour but then Winnie the Pooh its colour had changed because it was printed on this kind of colour so I was like mm, not sure about that if it had been that colour and Winnie the Pooh was normal colour but Winnie the Pooh was like mixed with that it just looked a bit strange so I just opted for good old Dumbo good old Milano <laughs> and then I got this little hat to wear on Saturday because we're going out on Saturday so I thought that'll be nice you know I love a good hat Milano is now napping and I'm basically just gonna pop all this away pop away the rest of the shopping and I don't know I really really need to do my nails so I might just take five have a glass of water and paint my nails because it's just a bit of a dramatic morning so it might do that because tomorrow is cleaning day so yeah I might just take them in to do that and then whenever Milano wakes up I can start in a wee bit of the cleaning anyway I can't hoover or anything while he's napping because it wakes him up so yeah that's my plan now I'm off to do my nails So I've just woke little honey bun up from his nap and he's gonna get a cup of oat milk with the fishies. If you can hear them in the background, he's like, hurry up mommy, I need my oat milk. <laughs> so Milano's just having a little Milano's just having a little peanut butter sandwich, aren't you honey? And we're watching Tangled, as you can see, he's very invested, it's his new favourite and whenever she comes on he's like giggling and laughing, so he's not in the best mood, sure you're not, but he had his injections yesterday so maybe that's why, um, so yeah hopefully peanut butter sandwich and Tangled will sort it all out. at the worst time so I was just about to do Milano's dinner he's crying in the background the dogs are barking and Milano's new bedroom furniture has just arrived so holy holy moly I'm about to open the gate for them and Milano's just gonna have to moan for a while isn't he I had to put the dogs away because they would literally eat the delivery men okay here it comes how exciting Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited. So it has arrived. That was another 
bit of a meltdown. Milano was crying because he wanted out of the playroom and he's hungry and I was trying to make his dinner and then the men came and then I had to lock the dogs up and then they were barking. I took Milano out whenever I opened the gate and was like, right, okay, be on my head, but he just wanted down. So then he was crying then. <laughs> and I had to put him back in the playroom because he was too wiggly and I couldn't have him run around the house with men and Corona and all that jazz. But anywho, the stuff has arrived. Sometimes you're just like, could it come at a worse time? Probably not. It probably could have been the worst time during our day. Apart from could have came at bath time. Isn't that right, Milano? So your dinner's going to be a bit, a bit late. But look, they're even, it's even terracotta in the inside. Nice. It does have legs, but they were like, we don't put the legs on. Like, why not? We've reached the end of the day. Oh, well, Milano's day. I've just put him down. Oh, bit of sun. I've just put him down for the night. So he's off to sleep. I am now gonna go tidy the playroom. Wait till you see this. Let's see. Lights on. Look at that. It's even spewing over the edge. So I am about to go tidy that and basically clean up the rest of the dest de destruction. I will insert an after picture of the playroom now. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do and then I need to sort out the five whiffers and I don't know what time also Mr. Murray is going to be home at. Uh oh, there's another pigeon. The doors are locked. So they can't get out. But anyway, yeah, I don't know what time. Also, Mr. Murray is going to be home at. Um, so yeah, this is basically the end of today's vlog. What a day! I am exhausted. It was just a bit of a disastrous day. But yeah, it is now the end, and tomorrow is a new day, and tomorrow is Friday, which is very exciting. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you don't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you do not miss any of our Oso oh family videos and mummy videos because we would love for you to join the Oso oh family. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>